Assalamu alaikum dear students. This is Sabiha Sultana Shoshi, your English teacher with you and welcome you all to the English class. Today we will start English first paper and today our topic is Lesson 5 to 7 from Unit 6. Okay, you can see lesson 5 here that is traveling by train and there is a passage in this lesson. So, let's read it first. Jishan, Julie and their parents, Mr. and Mrs. Arif Khan got into a first class compartment at Kamlapur railway station. It was the Anganj bound Tista Express. The train left at 8 o'clock. Jishan saw that the departure time on the big timetable at the station was 7.30. However, the train was running quite fast. The children sat by the window beside their parents. The compartment was half empty. Yesterday, Julie downloaded a beautiful poem on a train journey by Robert Louis Stevenson. She took a printout of the poem. Now, while looking out of the windows, she found similarities between the poem and the real scenery. She took out the poem and began to read. So this is basically a story. The story is about train journey of Jishan and Julie. Okay, now the information. We have got some information from lesson 5, right? And what are they? Okay, the story is about train journey. So, the theme or the subject matter of the story is train journey. And there are four characters. They are Jishan, Julie, Mr. and Mrs. Arif. And they are going to Deanganj by the train, Tista Express, which left the station at 8 o'clock. But it was half an hour late. And the compartment was half empty. And the children sat beside their parents. And we know that Julie downloaded a poem by Robert Louis Stevenson. And the poem is about train journey. And when she started reading this poem, she found similarities between the poem and the real scenery. Okay, so these are the information of lesson 5. And now we will move on to our next lesson. And that is lesson 6. Okay. So this is lesson 6. We are in lesson 6. And there is a poem in this lesson. And the poem is full of imagery. That is why I have included some images around the poem. Isn't it nice? Okay. So let's read the poem. And the name of the poem is from a railway carriage and it is written by Robert Louis Stevenson okay faster than fairies faster than witches bridges and houses hedges and ditches and charging along like troops in a battle all through the meadows the horses and cattle all the sides of the hill and the plain fly as thick as driving rain and ever again in the wink of an eye, painted stations whistle by. Here is a child who clambers and scrambles, all by himself and gathering brambles. Here is a tramp who stands and gauges, and there is the green for stringing the daisies. Here is a cart run away in the, in the road, lumping along with man and load. And here is a mill and there is a river, each a glimpse and gone forever. It's a beautiful poem, right? It's a beautiful poem with full of imagery. And in this poem, the poet shares his experience of a railway journey and he presents natural scenes seen from the windows of the railway carriage. Okay, now in the first stanza of this poem, the poet 
describes the movement or the speed of the train which is amazing and he describes that the train is moving faster than ferries and witches. The speedy movement of the train leaves bridges, fences and ditches behind and the train rushes forward like soldiers who are attacking their enemies in the battlefield. It was it also leaves behind the green fields where horses and cattle are grazing. All the scenes of the hill and the plain land were being crossed by the train as quick as one drop of rain following the other in a storm. And in the next moment the train passes railway station and it looked like a painted picture. Okay. In the second stanza, in the second stanza, the poet sees a child collecting berries, and he also sees a homeless person who looks at the train with amazement. As the train moves forward, he sees some ladies in a village making garlands with daisy flowers. And the, poem the, and the poet then sees a cart moving slowly and it was full of load. He also gets a glimpse of the mills and uh, a river by its side. All these objects or all these things appeared and disappeared so quickly. Okay, now can you tell me what are the theme or what are, what are the themes uh, of this poem? Well, joy of traveling. The joy that we get from traveling is the major theme of this poem. And also the beauty of nature comes as theme in the description like meadows, the horses and cattle, sides of hill and plain, etc. And finally, poverty of human being uh, too is a theme as suggested by the scene in which a tramp looks excitedly at the train. Can you remember? Okay, now the summary. The, poets, the poet shares his experience of his first railway journey in this poem and he has been amazed by the speed of the train. The poet describes all the sceneries that he had experienced from the train journey. But as the train moves faster, the sceneries pass away in a wink of an eye. All the things appeared and disappeared very quickly. So this is the poem. It's very beautiful. It's a beautiful poem, isn't it? With lots of imagery. Okay, so this is the poem. And now we will move on our next lesson. And that is lesson 7. Okay, here we get the rest of the story of Jishan and Julie. So, let's read it. It was Jishan's grandparents' house in the village. The night sky was clear. The full moon was shining brightly. All the family members had delicious supper and sat in the yard. Jishan's cousins, Jahid and Shima, were very excited. They are the same age. They are also studying at a village school. Their grandparents gladly joined them. They were sitting on a bamboo mat. Everybody felt relaxed. They were talking, laughing and joking. The children's voice were the loudest. Jahid described how he played for his school in the Upojila school tournament. What sports do you take part in, Jishan? asked Jahid. Jishan could not answer. There was no playground in his school and around his house. Shima also told them how she won the first prize for 100 meter sprint in her school annual sports. She sang a beautiful bhavaya. Everybody clapped their hands in delight. Julie's aunt, Mrs. Jahanara Khan, told some funny jokes that made them laugh their head off. The family gathering went on far into the night so this is the rest of the story and 
now the information okay we have got so many information from lesson 7 and we learned that Jishan and Julie are now at their grandparents house and we get some new characters here and they are Jishan's grandparents their um, their cousin Jahid and Shima and their aunt Mrs. Jahanara Khan and again we we found the difference between the schools in city and the school in village and what is it okay in city we don't have any playground in our school but the scenario is totally different in village there is playground in village and that is why Shima and Jahid took part in Upojila inter school tournament and 100 meter sprint respectively. On the other hand, as there is no playground in Jishan's and Julie's school, they couldn't take part in sports. Okay, so these are the information from lesson 7 and with this we have completed our lesson, lesson 5. 6 and 7. Tell me what have we learned today? Okay, today we have learned about Jishan and Julie's journey, their journey by train in lesson 5. And after that, we read a beautiful poem named From a Railway Carriage by Robert Louis Stevenson in lesson 6. And finally, we get the rest of the story of Jishan and Julie and their family gathering in lesson 7. So that is all. That is all for today. And thank you all for being with me. And hopefully see you in the next class. Till then, stay safe and stay well.